Let's start playing with that simple model by doing break-even analysis and sensitivity analysis. What I want to know is, for example, how high should be my salary in order for me not to ask my parents for some money. So let me get the sum of the uh, inserted money and we want to get that to zero by changing the salary. And uh, here all the cells are just equal to the previous, so only this one is actually the input. For that, uh, in the data ribbon, uh, what if analysis goal seek? Practically what it does is break-even analysis. So we want to set this value to zero by changing this cell. Okay, and now it actually cannot find any solutions. Why? Because look, our inserting money are not changing. So uh, what we need to do is uh, to make them automated. So now I have automated this calculation. The logic is pretty simple, but uh, I'll let you figure out it yourself. And then what I did also, I uh, formatted all, all the input values, so I can clearly see what uh, values are references, so I don't need to change them, and what values are actually input cells. It's also very useful when you're doing a model for uh, other users, so for them it would be clear which cells they can choose and which not. So let's repeat now uh, our break-even analysis data. What if analysis goal seek? And uh, we want to set this cell to zero by changing the salary. Okay. And now immediately we got the salary. Okay, it should be over 3,000 euros. So uh, with uh, this break-even analysis, we of course can play a lot like uh, maybe I should pay less mortgage or maybe I should save on foods or get rid of some holidays. But every time it would require running uh, goal seek analysis. Let's see what else we can do. Control Z to return the calculation back. Let's now do sensitivity analysis. Uh, we can do it for uh, the same salary, let's say. And uh, we can check how um, the inserting money level would change with the different levels of salary. And I, uh, let's say, can do even less. And with 100 increase, check for all the way to 3200. And uh, now, with data table, it's that simple to do. So uh, here is the reference to the result, and those are just values. Uh, we select all the table. And here again in what if analysis, data table, row input cell. We don't have our values in rows yet, we only have columns. And uh, here in columns is salary. So we are saying to the data table that it should actually substitute uh, this cell with these values and then get us the result. Okay? And here it is. I have already here uh, pre-formatted uh, conditionally this uh, range. And we can see here exactly the same result as we got from break-even analysis, that uh, with uh, 3100 I don't need any money additionally. But also we can see the values for all the salary levels, and like for example I can see that in case I would still get 2500, I actually would need to uh, get additional 2200s for this period. And now I just need 700, how amazing is that? Sensitivity analysis can be done also with two variables. Like, for example, let me check a combination of cost of holidays in March and in July. Maybe I can get some insight from there, too. Let's type here holidays, holidays, March versus holidays, July. And again, we need to get our uh, resulting value, analysis to what we want to get. And uh, let me get the uh, cost of the holidays from uh, 0 to minus 500 up to very 3,000 euros. And the same for the, um, for the next one. Up to 3,000. Our data table is almost ready. So again here in data, uh, what if analysis, data table, row input cells now are holidays in July, we want to change this cell. 
and colon input cells are going from here, okay? And here's our values, uh, how much money we will need to get. And let me also format them a similar color scale. Yep. And now I can see my results with respect to combination of two variables in here. So for example, I can see that in case I don't want to ask any money from my parents, then first holidays can be at maximum be 1,000 euros. And then in this case, only 1,500 for the uh, second holidays. Or for example, I can skip first holidays at all, save some money, and then uh, second holidays in July could be up to 2,500. The good thing about data tables is that they are flexible. Uh, all those cells are, have, have links in them, so in case I change the, uh, something in inputs, all my uh, data inside changes. But then uh, the bad thing in here is that uh, for data table, all the input reference cells and the outcome should be on the same sheet as the uh, data table itself. Therefore, it becomes impossible to use if you have model on several sheets. You practically need to repeat all the calculation on one sheet only to have the data table. But we will see later also other ways to conduct sensitivity analysis.